Hey guys, this is me, Constance, coming to you about my hair. For those of you who know me, you know I recently cut my hair. So, I kind of want this video to kind of show you, I guess, like the thoughts, the feelings, the reactions, why I did it, and you know, I guess some of my routine for my hair. So first reaction when I cut my hair, I was actually cool, like to me hair grows back, so it wasn't like that deep. But when they put the color in my hair and they stripped my color, I was like, oh my gosh, what in the world was I thinking? I'm texting my friends while I'm at the place to get my hair done. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was like, I cut it, cool. But then I was like, oh my gosh, this color is like crazy. I'm not sure what to do with this. But it turned out really well. My mom always had her hair done really nice when I was younger, so I remember that. And she had this really kind of short haircut that kind of resembled that Rihanna bowl haircut. She had that back before Rihanna made it popular, you know. And I was like, you know, one day I'm gonna cut my hair. But it was never like a, oh, I have to do a big chop you know, trying to cut off my perm. I didn't have that issue, just I wanted to try something. Also, my cousin Erin. Cousin Erin cut off her hair about a year or so ago before she traveled in Spain. And when I saw her hair, I hit her up. I was like, yo, Erin, you know, what does it take? You know, how did you feel when you cut your hair? And what do you do? How you upkeep your hair and everything? And she just kind of spilled it out for me, told me this is what you need to do. This is who I went and got my hair cut from and the whole night arts. The, another person would be my friend Amber. In like 2016, she cut her hair. And I was like, yo, that's so nice. But I wasn't in a space where I was bold enough to cut my hair at that time. So as you see, three years later, now I'm like, hey, let's do this. So, and also, no, it was this girl on Instagram. I follow her. Her name is Rashida Banks, I believe her last name is Banks but her hair is always bomb. I follow her because I saw her on the popular page and I was like, follow because her hair was so cute and she's really good at DIY stuff. So those would be like my top people of inspiration as to why I cut my hair. And I'm very glad I did it. To me, it's something new, it's something funky, you know, cause like all of it is not colored blonde. It's like a mixture of like a lighter, blonde, a dark brown, and then my hair is kind of like black on the sides and then the back. I like it. There are some things I did learn from cutting my hair. First thing, my hair is different now that I've cut it. Meaning that when I used to do flat twists, flat twists was amazing on my hair. I was like, yes, yeah, slay queen. Now I'm like, no, 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 fall back queen. Because I don't like how the flat twists look in my hair, I just don't. But finger curls, my cousin told me that. My cousin was like, oh, I finger curl my hair. I was like, oh, people do that in real life? Yes, they do. So now this is a result of finger curling. Now I do, today is wash day, so when the people finally finish with the bathroom downstairs, I'm gonna wash my hair. So maybe I can do a video on that. If you guys wanna see a video on that, that'd be kinda cool. But now our finger curl it, that's one of the biggest difference. Another big difference is it doesn't take me long. My maintenance is so easy. I wash my hair once a week, finger curl it, and then I wake up, do this, pick it out, make sure I'm good in the back, and I'm good. You know, there's another thing that has changed since my hair. I have switched products. So I was using Cantu products. I love Cantu products. But since my hair is shorter and I don't really manipulate it much throughout the week, I switched to a different product. So someone sent me this product. It's called Natural All. And it's the avocado line. So it's the, I use the cleansing avocado shampoo. Then I use the hydrating avocado conditioner. And then 
I use the flaxseed gel curl custard. And that's what I use to finger curl my hair. And when I say I like this so much better because I've used several like curl custards for my hair since cutting it and it flakes up. This one doesn't flake, it doesn't even make it hard. It just like holds it and sets it into shape. <laughs> like it's like a gel, not gel. But it makes my hair feel so soft. I really wish you guys could feel this. It's like super soft. It's Today is wash day because it is a week since I washed it and my hair still feels soft. Um, there's some other things I've been approached about with my hair and one was because I just got married in June so a lot of people are like oh my gosh you cut your hair as soon as you got married like dang you know um, you you didn't give him no time like what if he doesn't like it well here's what it is I had already been talking about cutting my hair way before wedding but my mom was like yo chill out wait until you get married because what if you get your hair cut and you don't like it for your wedding day which was true so i knew like as soon as i got married i was cutting my hair it was just a case of when and where and how and once i answered all those questions voila bam you got it so i'm he likes it i like it we both like it so we good My other question that I get a lot there, people are like, do you have to accessorize more? I feel so. So now I wanna make sure my makeup is good. My eyebrows will always have to be done. I even wear fake glasses because I just think they're cute. I really like these glasses. I wish I had more in different light. I really like leopard. So maybe I can find some leopard. But you know, I try to add that last piece of accessory nowadays to my outfits to make me look more girly whatever but I at the end of the day I like my hair good guys those are like the top questions I've been getting and comments about my hair so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and follow me on Instagram